In this video we will show you how you can verify if the copy number alteration has an effect on the expression of the gene in question. We have previously loaded alteration and expression data for TP53 signaling pathway genes from the TCGA glioblastoma project and sorted the upstream genes by mutual exclusion. In the expression values. We can see the effect of gain of the genes MDM2 and MDM4 as well as the loss of CDKN2A and TP53. But if we want to be sure we can make a group comparison analysis to perform a statistical test that backs up our observation. With this analysis we can assess if values of two groups are statistically different. On the first page of the analysis wizard, we choose expression as value dimension to take the values to compare. The two sample groups to compare to each other depend on the gene's alteration, so we choose to make the group by value option. On the second page, we choose the values that separate the groups for each gene. Alteration is designated by minus 2 or 2, so we choose our first group accordingly. Non-altered samples are designated by zero. We give the analysis a name and perform it. Once the analysis has finished, we open it by clicking on the Result Heat Map button. We can see one column with the result for each gene. The redder the color of the cell is, the more different is the expression in the two groups. We filter for the significant genes, both left and right tail. Significance in the left tail means that the gene is less expressed within the altered due to loss. Significance in the right tail means that the gene is more expressed within the altered due to gain. We also sort by significance and can see that our upstream genes are all amongst the top significant. Thus, we can be sure that their alteration has a direct effect on their expression. This was how you correlate alteration to expression with the help of child tools.